Let's continue down the path uh, regarding order match. I have here a new invoice. I recognize fields and I get a three line recognition. That's cool. But I have an issue down here that uh, this sum of all the match line does not reconcile to the total amount in the invoice and one or more lines are unmatched. Okay, let's go in and take a look at the matching page. I have three lines recognized as you can see and uh, to make the view a bit more simplified I will filter, filter on the order number in the invoice. There we are. Oh, by the way, please notice that we have the extra filters up here. I can uh, filter on unmatched or matching differences. These are the two new filters. So I filtered on my order number 1004 and I see those two lines that are matched. And I also see that down here that 10 and 2 are matched perfectly. On the other hand, the freight is not matched, and that's probably due to the missing freight on the order number, on the order card. So let's go in and do something about that. Quite simple, place your cursor on the line that is missing in the order, click on the line, and activate the create line on purchase document. So there we are, the line is created. Based on the information down here and the translation already existing, of course, you need to have a translation, otherwise Dumb Capture wouldn't know where to post this, when you're going to post the invoice order. And the only thing missing is to reprocess the, the matching, recognize documents, whatever you like to do, and there we are. Now we have a full match. Completely matched with purchase order 1004. Nice and easy, simple and short. Yeah. Nothing more to say about that. And next document. Let's go in and recognize fields. In this case, I have a, a one line on my invoice, 6,000, quantity of one. Seems quite simple and easy, so why can't I match? Hmm. One or more lines are unmatched. In this case, I have a, a purchase order with also one line, but the problem is in this case, that my amount does not match. Let's take a look at the orders. One line, same account, same quantity, but the hmm, the price is different. If you take a look at my template, you'll see that my matching criteria are user order number and user unit cost. And as unit cost differs, hmm, I cannot match. In this case, my order is kind of a budget order. This is what we expect the new furniture for the office to cost. It might be that I'm, I'm getting multiple deliveries and therefore multiple invoices, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, a bit every, every week. And in this case, I got an invoice of 6,000, which might be the first invoice for this full delivery of goods. And instead of going in manually opening the, the order card and adjusting the number, the price, or adding a new line manually, I can do that directly from here. When I say adding a line, I actually mean I want to split this line. In this case, I have one line, but I need to split it into several lines, and the, one of the lines needs to be 6,000 in order to, to be able to match with this current invoice. So let's split the invoice line. Place your cursor in the line you want to split, and select the split. There we are. You want to, you can fill in a um, custom description, otherwise you will take the one from the account. And I will take this uh, furniture's first batch, something like that. And 6,000 is taken from the invoice. Cool, that's what I want. Okay, and now I have uh, 6,000, the new one, and the rest 4,000. So I still have 10,000 in, in total. Cool, let's go in and do some Processing before the match. Yes, we match the line with the first batch. If we go back, you'll see that I have a complete match. It's so e easy and it's so cool and saves me a lot of time and it makes my matching so much more fun.